many in South Africa, Archbishop Desmond Tutu embodied the conscience of a nation. We have lost a great icon, uh, a father. His nonviolent fight against apartheid won him the Nobel Prize in 1984. It was a battle long, hard, and one he took on with unrelenting energy. One of the leaders of South Africa's black community was in Toronto today. It was also a fight he brought to Canada, pushing for politicians here to do more. Our country is burning. Our children are dying. Many causes. Former Ontario Premier David Peterson remembers the moment vividly, saying meeting Tutu had a profound impact on him personally. I never saw anger. It was outrage, yes, but he was motivated by love and a sunny disposition. And I think he believed in the perfectibility of mankind. When Tutu was asked to describe the most important moment in his life, the birth of his son came first, a close second. 1994, introducing Nelson Mandela to that crowd, to South Africa, to the world. Welcome, our brand new state president, Nelson Mandela. I actually said to God, God, I don't mind if I die now. <laughs> Even after apartheid, Tutu did not stop, turning his attention to new causes like LGBT rights and climate change. After flying over the Alberta oil sands in 2014, he called them filth, saying First Nations rights were being trampled. Today, world leaders paid tribute to an outspoken man with an infectious laugh. <laughs> Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said he was a tireless advocate for human rights. President Barack Obama said he looked to Tutu as a personal moral compass. The Queen reflected on what she described as great warmth and humor. Once asked how he wanted to be remembered, Tutu responded, he loved, he laughed, he cried, he was forgiven, he forgave, greatly privileged. Travis Stanrash, CBC News, Washington.